So, I've decided since my hallucinations are getting worse that I'm going to call my care coordinator and because I've been documenting this little saga <laughs> that I would record this call and share with you guys what my care coordinator suggests. Welcome to the EE voicemail. I'm. Hello. Hey, then, you alright? Yeah, I'm just struggling a bit at the minute. Ah, I actually discussed your case today. Um, what are you struggling with? Hallucinations. Ooh, <laughs> what are they saying? I know. I keep seeing shadow figures. Mm -hmm. And I'm hearing, I'm hearing people calling my name, and then there's no one there. Okay, okay. And it's just been a bit stressful. I'm sorry to hear that. And is I know before a couple of weeks ago you said that um, you've seen the shadows. When did the uh, hearing people call your name start? Last week. Yeah, I did speak about your case today, actually. Um, um, and Dr. Fripata said he wanted to see you first before increasing the medication. Back to where it was. Right, okay. Um, which I guess is not ideal for you. Um, I wouldn't want you to deteriorate again, but I know you've done quite well um, since the admission. Yeah, it's been a year. Yeah, it's been good. It's, it's been a good stint. So I don't want to derail that. Um, what, how, on a scale of 10, how distressing are you finding this? About an eight. Okay. That's pretty high. It's keeping me awake at night as well. How many hours are you getting? About three. Oh, wow. Is that um is that from last week or was that two weeks ago as well? From last week. And there's a are you sleeping the day at all? No. Okay. Ah, right. what I'll do is he might still be in his office. I'll try see if I can speak to him now and give an update on your mental state. Um, and see if he's willing to increase it back and then review it at the medical review in August. Because it is always, like two months away, so that is a bit far. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, let me go and see if I can see him now. If I don't call you back later, then I'll try him again tomorrow. Okay. Okay? Yeah. All right. Let me go and follow up on that for you. Okay. All right. I'll speak to you later, dear. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. So that's the update. He's gonna try and get my dose increased again. My care coordinator is genuinely amazing. I, I, I get on with my care coordinator. That's why he's my choice to call over just calling reception and asking to speak to someone. Because if I call my care coordinator, he knows me and he understands me. So yeah. Thank you for watching and I will keep you guys updated. Peace. Hello. Hey there. Uh, I managed to speak to the doctor. Like I managed to catch him where he went on his appointment. Okay. Um, he agreed to the haloperidol, the max of 10 milligrams. Okay. Uh, do you have enough at home? I don't have. I, I have blister packs from pharmacy. Aha, uh, uh -huh, I see. Um, can you, oh yeah, is, uh, so it's all together with other medication? Yeah. So ideally you'll need a prescription? Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, I will ask him for a prescription, um, to write one up, and then, um, um, get him to do that for you for tomorrow? Yeah. Sweet, okay. 
and um, once it's done, I'll let you know, and then you can collect it. Okay. Sweet. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I'll speak to you later. Yeah. All right, bye. Bye. I'm not going to get a section. <laughs> I was just about to upload the first half of this video as well. Good thing I didn't. Well done, Lydia. So my haloperidol dose is going back to 10 milligrams. Bye bye, hallucinations. Anyway, I'm happy that my dose is getting put back to what it was. This last two weeks have been hell. But tomorrow I can go pick up the prescription for the increased dose of haloperidol. Oh, it's so great to finally be sorted. Haloperidol works like a charm for me. That's why I'm so desperate to be on the dose I was prescribed in hospital. But, yeah, my dose is getting sorted. How positive. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video, which won't be about my dick of a psychiatrist. Peace.